Roger Black from Roger Black Studio, uh, which is a small consultancy in New York City where we design big media projects, uh, typically in the news arena, but also other things like for schools and other institutions. The International Monetary Fund comes to mind, people like that. Uh, and the right now I'm working uh, in, in this program where we showed or will show some stuff from, um, from Flip Media and, or Indigo, which are digital magazines uh, that are, de you know, they're, the paradigm's maybe two years old now, three years old, where we're trying to make a completely interactive magazine uh, that has, uh, in multimedia form, a uh, some of the advantages of a print magazine, but also video, uh, live dynamic content, the ability to comment, some kind of social networking skew. Uh, these things are fairly interesting. There's a wholly new design space to work in, so it's really fun. Uh, making templates for those designs, uh, which is essentially what the design business is now, uh, designing templates rather than pages, um, is is difficult. Uh, but I, I, I've been fairly happy with the results in terms of what these products look like uh, using Flash, using Adobe Air. And um, however, in thinking about all of this in the kind of big picture, uh, you, there are really kind of two sides. I mean, in the design world, we're all Mac users. We're all uh, we're all using uh, software from from Apple and things that run on the Mac. Um, we all have iPhones. I don't. I have a pre. But uh, <laughs> the the thing is that um, there's a kind of comfort level of working within Flash. You can use your InDesign pages, stuff like that, and create an environment that's that's fairly rich. This is sort of the Apple way of thinking. Uh, it's a closed garden. It's a walled garden approach. Um, the iPhone apps don't work in Flash, but they are their own things. There's a business model behind them that's fairly inter interesting. There are 70,000 of them now. Um, but is what is the direction of history? Where are we going and where is a designer like me supposed to go? And it's my feeling that, that they're, they're countervailing what the, the kind of closed world of, of Apple and to some degree Microsoft uh, is the open world of Linux and the, the whole open source world, which the web is very much part of. If you look at, you know, the web had a, a sluggish beginning in terms of really working, uh, but when the, uh, the W3C, the, the World Wide Web Consortium, uh, started understanding that it's not doing recommendations, it's doing standards, and the browser manufacturers are supposed to read, read that, um, that everybody was working on a very open source world, which is HTML and JavaScript. Why don't we think about something in the digital media space that is all HTML, but not just a plain website? What's that? So that's what I'm doing. Right now, I'm working with some fairly high-end uh, thinkers and developers in creating software that that is all open, that is completely within the HTML world. Thus, it will play on anything that's got a browser. Uh, following some of the ideas of, of things like the New York Times Reader, that would resize the different size screens, that would play on your TV set if that's what you wanted, or on your phone, or, or whatever these netbook things are that come in between. And I think the multi-platform open source world is going to be the, the future, not, not, not the closed world of Apple and Adobe.